Today, the start of this conversation is somewhat unorthodox, simply because I will be referencing a post that caught my attention to the person that I will be introducing to you shortly. And I will read just the first paragraph. It goes like this. When I tell people I work with cybersecurity, the immediate response usually is, oh, like hacking and stuff. Well, yes, that is part of cybersecurity, but the aim is to take the correct measures to limit the likelihood of an attack or the consequences if one was to occur. So my guest today is Gray Evita Siversten, and I'm hoping that I'm pronouncing her name correctly. Uh, she's a cybersecurity manager and also someone with advanced experience working with the ISO 27001 and ISO 27701. And if you have been following her on LinkedIn, then you would see the valuable information that she has been sharing. Gray, welcome to CyberJA. Thank you so much. Really happy to be here. Great. And I too look forward to our amazing conversation for sure. Now, before we get into the fun stuff, can you tell us just a little bit about yourself? Yes. Uh, so first, to pronounce my name in Norwegian can be a bit tricky, but it is Gri Evita Sivatsen. Uh, I'm from Norway. Uh, and yes, as mentioned, I work now as a cybersecurity manager at PwC. Uh, but prior to that, I was working as acting CISO in an AI startup company that became a scale up. So I worked there for six years and got the ISO 27001 and 27701 certifications for the company. Great, awesome. And for sure, many persons who are um, definitely want to venture into this career path especially persons wanting to get into the GRC aspect of cybersecurity, for which I am a great um, proponent as it relates to helping others to get into cybersecurity, to recognize that there are many options that they can actually take to build their career. Now, from your profile, it indicates that you are currently a cybersecurity manager and you have actually gone through other roles before. And one of the big questions is, how did you arrive to this point in your career? Can you take us along the, your career path journey, the difficulties, challenges, uh, what actually catapulted your career to where it is at this point in time? Yes. Uh, so I uh, studied uh, computer engineering at school. Uh, and it was first through my bachelor thesis that I got an interest for cybersecurity. Um, and then uh, after school, straight out of school, I joined a very small startup company that was focusing on artificial intelligence. Uh, and when I joined, I joined in as an uh, operations engineer. So I was supposed to like set up the servers in Amazon. But um, quickly we saw that we got a lot of requirements from our customers and one of them being to get the ISO 27001 certification. Uh, so I saw this opportunity and I took it and that led to me getting the overall security responsibilities within the company. Uh, and this can also be a great evidence to other people out there that it's definitely possible with all the material that you have available now to self-learn within GRC. There's so much great people on LinkedIn that you can follow to learn. There's great podcasts, there's YouTube, Google, like there's loads of material. Sure, definitely. There's so much. And that what that is one of the, the challenges for many persons today is that there is a lot of information and um, persons maybe classify this information as noise. And as such, they are somewhat confused in terms of what is that they actually navigate their career path in terms of actually getting into cybersecurity. 
And um, you have actually mentioned that you started out working with servers, um, the cloud environment. So what is it that actually gave you that uh, drive to venture into cyber or GRC? Um, so it was a lot due to the requirements of the customers and that there was a need. But when I started to get more into it and realizing the aim and the purpose and the enormous value that it can actually give to a company, uh, I found so much meaning in, in doing this type of work. And I've loved it ever since. Sure, exactly. And I too can, I mean, relate to uh, my somewhat my journey. I mean, came up along the lines of working with servers, had a lot of fun, started out as a IT technician, then I ventured into system administration, network administration. So wherever the need was, I actually um, transitioned according to equip myself with the necessary skills to meet the demand of the environment. Can you share with us some of the, the, the things that you had to learn, the skill sets, um, the necessary maybe certification, training, resources, the skills that you had to develop or acquire to um, execute the various job roles that you have actually done so far? Yeah. So uh, one of the main things is that when I started working on the project to get the ISO 27001 certification, I did not even know what it was. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, I had to start learning to understand what it was, what it was about, how it was all connected and, and the complexity of it. Uh, and one of the tricky parts that can be, that a lot of people will struggle with is kind of like the, the assessments to how you use the guidance to understand what you have to do or, or not. Uh, and it can take a while to kind of crack that code, but um, once you start studying and do some um, real project, then finally you'll, you'll learn how to do it. Uh, for me, uh, I use the ISMS online a lot. I think it's a great platform. Uh, on there, you can find all the clauses of the standards and all the annex controls. Uh, and it gives like uh, additional description on, on how you can go about it. Uh, in addition, I use the Advisora. They also have a, a lot of great articles towards the, the different subjects of, of the standard. Uh, and we also got in some uh, expert consultants uh, when I was a newbie at this, who was kind of helping me out, putting, pointing me in the, the right direction, who could kind of coach me along the way so that I would be able and become competent enough to, to lead it on my own. So it was some trying and failing and uh, some success. And uh, finally, we ended up getting great success, getting the certification and being able to maintain it, have a strong management system that we could finally start continuously improving. And yeah. And, and that's the, the fun part of it, being willing to undertake the various tasks, to be flexible, to break things, to see what work, what doesn't work. And as you mentioned that, up to 2020, I did not know what GRC was. And this is not funny. I did not know what GRC was until in 2020 when uh, COVID hit, I lost my job. And I was at a point where I needed to find some way to pivot to, to be creative. And that is when I actually reached out on LinkedIn versus I started to hear the buzzword of GRC. Persons be began to say, this is what you can actually venture into as a race to cybersecurity. So for sure, when you made mention of the fact that you did not understand what ISO 27001 was, I actually laughed. I totally understand where you're coming from. But it's okay. having that mindset to explore and to learn and that's one of the things that I try to advise persons who are trying to build their career is to be able to take that risk and to reach out to persons within the industry to gain mentorship and guidance. So, so far, what has your experience been like in terms of 
um, reaching out to get the guidance and support that you need to drive your career? Uh, my experience has been really good. Um, it can be a bit scary in the beginning to, to reach out, but I think it's important that uh, everybody knows that there are so many people out there who are genuinely willing to help. Uh, so you should not be afraid to, to reach out and ask your questions. Do not feel like your questions are stupid or you're overthinking on how you're even just asking the question. Uh, so I've um, reached out to people on LinkedIn. Sometimes maybe they will not respond, but others will give you good responses and really help you out. Uh, and I've also used LinkedIn a lot to find the people that wrote posts that could match my language and understanding that I actually gained something and understood what they were communicating. Uh, so I would follow those people and follow up on, on their posts to make sure that uh, I could use that to, to further learn and excel. And even though I'm at an uh, expert level of, of ISO now, uh, I still have uh, things that I can learn, like we can always grow and further learn and excel and everybody got to start somewhere. So like me, I started not even knowing what it was. And uh, now, six years later, I'm at this point. Great. Uh, that's, that's the unique thing. Um, starting out from nowhere, and if you're persistent, consistent enough, then you'll eventually get to that point of um, being an expert at what you do. And for sure, along your journey, then you would have experienced not a smooth path. You would have experienced challenges, ups and downs, um, yeah. Can you share some of those challenges as it relates to building your career? I mean, you have mentioned that you have actually been in the role of a CISO uh, management. What what has all that been like in terms of from a career perspective? Um. So uh, uh, some challenges or, or things I've uh, failed on is that uh, when you're new to to GRC or ISO. Uh, it can be easy to look at uh, other experts or other companies, see how they doing, see how they are doing things or implementing controls and things. Okay, that's the way I have to do it. When in fact it really isn't. Like the main thing is is understanding your company, the context, what issues are you facing, what threats are you facing, what are your risks, what are the assets you want to protect. And then think about how can you implement the controls in a way that match your company and the way it operates. And that is a crucial element. So don't just like look at other companies, how they are doing it. I think you have to do, the, do it the same way. Like focus on your company, your needs and find a way to make the controls fit your current company. Definitely, sure. That's, that's a very important uh, point as it relates to um, implementation. And for sure, I will, when, I mean, once you are available, no doubts, to dive into that conversation of ISO 27001, its implementation, its challenges. And I mean, that post that you did, which I highlighted sometime last week, spoke to a number of important points that so many persons uh, find themselves in that situation as a race is implementation. But for sure, I look forward to future conversations where we can actually um, explore this uh, in better, I mean, greater details for sure. Now, when you think of where you are now, can you provide what's, what's that last or what's that? Um, advice that you would want to share with someone who is trying to get into cybersecurity or GRC and they are finding it very challenging? What's the last advice that you would want to share? Uh, don't be afraid to fail or do mistakes. Trust me, we all do. And uh, find your, your own way to, to do things. 
uh, don't think you have to do it exactly like an other expert who you might uh, admire. Find out what, what works for, for you. Find your own niche. <laughs> sure. And I mean, that's a, a very interesting note to end on. Um, I definitely enjoy this conversation. Your time, no doubt, your busy schedule to share such valuable nuggets of information um, with us on the community. So great, it was indeed a pleasure having this conversation with you on CyberJA. Same to you. Awesome. So guys, there we have it. Until then, stay tuned, stay connected for future recordings on CyberJA show with me, your host, uh, Richard Perry. <laughs>